Hello everyone and welcome to Model Engineers Laser. My name is Holly. Just a small disclaimer before we start that this is not a professional video. We are a small family run business. So in the background, you may hear the dogs moving around and you may also hear Erica, our toddler daughter. You may have seen her on her Facebook page or if you've met us at shows, you may have even seen her there. We will try and keep the distractions to a minimum and even edit them out because we don't want them to be a distraction throughout. What's really exciting at the moment is the amount of inquiries that are coming from people who are new to the hobby, particularly regarding 16 millimeter and what they can do as a beginner's project to ease them in and get them used to what's happening. And in June 2015, Garden Rail magazine produced a list of articles about building a quarry Hunslet locomotive jack. And I've been tasked with doing a series of videos regarding building jack as a help for these new modelers. I'm doing it because I've not built a 16 millimeter loco before. I'm not naive and wet behind the ears. I know how to run a steam engine. I volunteer on the Talathinning Railway myself, but I've never built a 16 millimeter loco. So as somebody who's a novice to a fellow novice, this will be a, a great and realistic approach to how to build jack. This is going to be the first in what is hopefully a, a range of videos we're gonna post about building jack. And you will be able to see me from day one all the way to its first steam. We're gonna go through it together. So all the errors and all the things that go wrong are not gonna get edited out. They're gonna stay in just as they are. So this first video is an unboxing video and going through the parts that you need. Roundhouse supply a lot of the parts already built for Jack. And we're just gonna go through those and the bits that you can get from Model Engineers Laser ourselves as well. So. The first kit we're going to look at is the Lady and Boiler Kit, which is HBK4. Just a note on Roundhouse. They have a phenomenal reputation and it is a completely justified reputation. From the minute I phoned up and made my order and asked some really random stupid questions, the guys on the phone were really patient with me. They were super polite and I got the parcel within a few days. Now, this box has already been opened and the packaging isn't in there, but they were beautifully packaged. Erica has since taken out the bubble wrap. It, bubble wrap is not safe with a toddler around. So with this one, we're gonna start with the boiler kit. And as you would expect with anybody who's had any dealings with Roundhouse, you get a phenomenal instruction manual, really beautifully clear laid out drawings. The font's really easy to read, which is something that really annoys me when you get other manuals, you're squinting. They've used New Times Roman font, so it looks like it's been written in the dark ages. It's just really simple and clean to read. At the back of the book, not the very back, the penultimate page. Because your boiler is a commercial boiler and it's pre-built, you get your certificate just here with your serial number on and your gas, the, the date it was tested and it's all signed, ready for you to go. And then I'll actually, I'll open it up so you can see the instructions and the parts. So this is a little list here at the bottom of what you can expect in your box. So this first part is the boiler, hiding the bubble wrap as we go. Nice, oh, I do like a shiny bit of brass, but I don't think it's gonna stay shiny for long with the work that I intend it to do. I do run my engine. So it does have your boiler number on there. And there's your boiler. I told you it wasn't a professional video. You can see the boiler numbers printed on there and then the little gauge is already on there. If you look at the drawing, so it says pressure gauge is item number one, and then 
Item number two is your steam regulator. It tells you all this. If you're not familiar with the terminology, it will tell you as you go along. Number five is the boiler itself. I'm gonna put it back in the bubble wrap to keep it protected. And then in here, now I know from looking at the drawing, this is item number 10, which is the steam pipe, the superheater. It just pokes out <laughs> the, the hole just here. It's tiny, but you don't see the rest of it. But that is the superheater. In here, if we can see this one, I'm not going to take them out of the packaging because it'll keep them clean um, until I'm ready to use them. So this is the, um, can't get my teeth out. This is the gas burner. And also in this package in here, we've got this item here. Can you see that's the boiler mounting foot plate? Difficult to see in the light. That's probably a better light there. Not listed on this instructions, but included because I told them I was building Jack. Um, I have paid for it, obviously. It's a nice shiny brass stone for the top of Jack. There's quite a lot of weight in that, which is quite exciting. Also, not on this list, just a useful syringe to keep you going and the steam oil send you to get you started. Uh, I'm not going to open it up because we will say it on, see it on later videos, but this is the gas tank and um, can you see that there? No. So there, the gas regulator just attached to it. It's already wrapped in bubble wrap. It's probably better from that angle. So that's already attached. You can see there's a gas tank and the regular that's already attached. And the pipe. And then your rubber washers and seals and gaskets and various screws and Allen keys and plates. But something that's in here that is not listed and you have to work out because I don't think it's listed in the chassis kit, I haven't gone through all the instructions of that yet, is this item here, which on this page you can see just here, as it comes around here, so you've got the, the top here and there's a pipe that comes out the back there, which is this pipe here. So I know now from looking at this image that this is the lubricator, but it doesn't actually say that on the instructions that has come with this kit, but this is your lubricator. And that is the contents of the Lady and Boiler Kit. So we're now on to our second of our roundhouse kits. Again, beautifully packaged. I was very pleased with it. This is the HBK1, the chassis kit, which is designed for Billy, Katie and George models. We'll talk about the difference between their models and the Jack model um, a bit later on in this video, but we'll just go through the parts of this one. So yet again, a wonderful instruction booklet. Very clear font, great instructions and layout. And then, as you can see, it says here about your buffer kits and they arrive. And then I'll talk about the frame in a moment. Everything is beautifully labeled if it's not in the instructions. So there was a boiler band and screw nut in the boiler kit that's because there was a thing in the magazine about there being an extra one but i we shall cover that later so there's quite a few little individual boiler band kits in here i have to put them at the back got our pre-done rods an allen key there oh, it's 32 millimeter gauge wheel back to back for oh so you, because Jack, you can do a 32 millimeter gauge or 45 millimeter gauge, it gives you a little gauge there to work it out for you with your Allen key. Cylinder covers, pair of cylinder covers there. I I'm not going to go through all these parts because it would take forever. But you can see they're all beautifully packaged. And there is a lot of them in this kit. That's why I'm not going to go through all of them because the more I dig in it, the deeper I find the box. And it just keeps going. More screws, regulator. They even put in a little set of 
BA Spanners. Really is a great kit for beginners because it does include everything you need. Can you see that on that, on that photo? I could just keep going and keep going. It doesn't seem to be ending. Oh, here we go. And then the wheels. And the buffer beams and the centre buffers and the frames. So the reason I've not showed you the frames I'm going to show you now is because Jack is different from Billy, Katie and George. You do have to follow the instructions and make quite a few modifications to these frames. As a solution to that, we do provide a conversion kit. So if you do use the kit here from Roundhouse for the frames, you can get the conversion kit from us and it'll adapt it ready. You can see it's got buffers in there and make it fit for Jack because these buffers don't match. You can see, you can just about see, you can see the holes in that buffer and none of these buffers have holes in. So you do have to do quite a bit of modification when you look in the magazine and everything you need there to do is the modification. Or you can be super lazy and do what I'm going to do, which is just use the frame that we offer pre-welded and primed. No modification needed, all my frames done for me. So it depends on, on what you feel like doing really and your personal preferences when you look at the article. If you want to use the materials that come with Roundhouse, perfect quality, they just need some modifications to fit the jack or do what I've done, spend a very little money extra, save myself a bit of work and use our frames. I'm gonna pop these back in here. And then I'll go through the extra bits that we supply through Model Engineers Laser as well. So as well as the pre-done chassis, these are formers for your smoke box wrapper. So here's the smoke box wrapper. I'm not going to go into the detail now because that'll be a later video. And here's the smoke box parts. Can you see those on the black table? Again, how they all fit together will go through at a later date. More bodywork, um, framework there. And then brass bodywork. Just move those out of the way. I'm sure you can recognise what part of the bodywork that is. You don't need to be an engineer to see that. This is part of the roof. All of our parts are slot and tabbed. So can you see how the slots and the tabs line up on that? I don't know if it's easy to see on the video, how they all line up because this will form your roof and they go together. I'm not gonna go through all these parts. Like I said, a lot of the other ones I could do, but they're covered in other videos. You can see how we've slot and tabbed the doors together there. These are the sides of the cab and the spectacle plates. I do like a shiny brass. That's its partner. And that is all your bodywork. So that is all the parts that we supply for the jack. And like I say, you've got a choice to make when you do decide to build it, if you're going to use the roundhouse and modify or by the pre-done kit. The whole of this video, we are doing the pre-done kit though. Um, because like I said, I'd rather spend a bit more money than spend a bit more time, <laughs> quite a bit more time modifying it and making sure it's right. The precision you get with laser cutting um, is far better than I can achieve by hand anyway. So that's the end of this first video. We'll post another video soon with me starting to make some progress on the engine. Thanks for joining us.